journey into space, explore bundles of nerve fibers in a human brain, or fly through a bridge before it's built. This is Cave 2, located at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Eight-foot walls of video screens envelop a viewer in a 3D virtual world. The first cave was built in 1992. They've been improving it ever since. So the scientists can stand in here and fly through these nanoscale structures. With support from the National Science Foundation, computer scientist Jason Lee and his team developed Cave 2 here at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory, or EVL. We have an array of 72 LCD panels that are capable of displaying stereoscopic 3D. It interfaces with 36 computers and using a head tracker, the computer figures out what you're looking at and draws the correct computer graphics image onto the displays to create the illusion that objects appear to float in the room with you. Psychiatrist Oloshala Ajalori uses Cave 2 to analyze brain scans. He's looking at bundles of nerve fibers to see how damage to these tiny structures might lead to depression. So it's been really exciting to be able to visualize the fibers, walk around the brain, look under, between fibers. So there were entire missions where the sonar was mounted on the front. Mm -hmm. Cave 2 is helping environmental scientist Peter Doran dive deep under the Antarctic ice sheet. He's analyzing depth measurements from sonar on a robotic submarine. Each ball represents one measurement. Some of those balls are floating way up above the other balls. So that's bad data that we need to go in and, and get rid of. One thing that we did talk about was, was integrating these. So. Exactly. Using software developed at the EVL called SAGE, researchers can share data with remote Cave 2 sites over high-speed networks. Trying to make it easy for people from multiple disciplines to work together, to look at their information, to come to scientific discoveries faster and easier. This is a kind of visual instrument to help the human brain make sense of large amounts of data. Hollywood has been eyeing the cave technology for years. One Trekkie researcher at the lab designed this virtual model of Star Trek's Starship Enterprise. You might say Cave 2 is taking visualizations where no one has gone before. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.